IAQ Clarified, brought to you by the Indoor Air Quality Association, provides helpful consumer-focused tips on indoor air quality topics. Here is another tip from IAQA training provider, Ian Cull. Hi, this is Ian Cull bringing you an IAQA tech tip on ETS. Environmental Tobacco Smoke, or ETS for short, is one of the most well-known indoor air quality concerns. When we speak of ETS, or passive smoking, we're not referring to the smoke directly inhaled by the smoker himself, but rather to the smoke that becomes part of the indoor environment. ETS is primarily from the side stream smoke, which comes off of a lit smoldering cigarette, but it also includes the exhaled mainstream smoke from the smoker. Environmental tobacco smoke is not a single entity, but rather made up of a wide array of particles, gases, in volatile and semi-volatile compounds. The EPA states that over 4,000 compounds have been identified in cigarette smoke. Perhaps 50 or more components are classified as known or suspected human carcinogens. The World Health Organization says that, quote, tobacco smoke is without a doubt the most significant environmental contaminant to which children are exposed indoors. Because ETS is a complex mixture of particles and compounds, there's no easy way to measure all of the constituents. Well, how then can you test the air to see if someone is being exposed to environmental tobacco smoke? Often, one compound is selected and acts as a surrogate or as a marker for ETS. The most commonly used markers are particulate matter and nicotine. Particles have many sources beyond ETS, so they can only loosely be used as a surrogate. There's no way of only counting those particles that were generated by ETS. The mass mean diameter of ETS particles is around 0.1 to 0.25 microns, so particle counters should be selected that can detect those fine particles. Nicotine is a highly specific marker without other common indoor sources. Several large studies have been performed using nicotine as the surrogate. Because it will condense on surfaces, air and surface samples may be needed to collect it. Others use carbon monoxide or specific VOCs as surrogates. And of course, the human nose is pretty good at detecting cigarette odors if a subjective evaluation is allowable. Although smoking has been banned in many places across the United States, ETS is still a major problem in multifamily housing, such as apartment buildings and condominiums. If you have a concern about environmental tobacco smoke, consider hiring an IAQA member to evaluate your property. Visit the IAQA website to find a listing of members in your area.